Guys, I can't explain <laughs> for the glitter vibes. I am on my way to a fairy picnic. Yes, a fairy picnic. So Chelsea set up a fairy picnic. She's setting up a whole picnic at a park for me and a couple of the girls and she wanted it to be like fairy themed. She saw some inspo online and she was like, guys, we need to dress up as fairies, like have a picnic. And I was like, bet, say less. So I have glitter, like Coachella glitter. I literally feel like I'm going to a festival right now. But yeah, I put my hair in little pigtails. I have a little, um, what's it called? a flower crown in the car that I'm gonna put on and then this is my outfit I'm just wearing like like this two-piece lavender set it's from Sunday's best and then I have these shoes on it's like these like white strap-on sandals basically so next time you see me I'll probably have a flower crown on so don't be alarmed I literally ran to Claire's this morning with Anne Marie to grab something because I'm like I don't know if this is gonna be enough but I feel like it is I got the little butterflies I got the jewelry well, let me just put you on I normally get a matcha but I didn't this time I got a coffee but guys if you can go to a coffee shop It just dripped on me um, if you can go to a coffee shop and ask for a lavender latte or a lavender matcha latte, the lavender matcha latte tastes like Fruity Pebble, like the Fruity Pebbles milk after you eat that cereal. The coffee also tastes delicious and I feel like it's fitting because I have a lavender outfit on. Sorry, I just like wanted to quickly put you guys on. Get lavender lattes. They're just so damn good. All right, guys, here's Am. What did I say before? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, her. I'm a woodland fairy. <laughs> so cute, guys. We're ready. You're I'm ready. so excited to see what the other girls look like. Oh, can't wait to see what Chelsea looks like because she's already a fairy. Oh, yeah, she's a fairy and she's the one that planned this whole thing. So she'll probably come with wings and she'll float. No, there's no way. Why does Claire's make their tags like this? Guys, we're trying to. I'm trying to put this. this crown is digging into my brain. What's in my brain? Like this is literally <laughs> digging into my skull. Okay, how about you pull? Like, oh my god, my big freaking pointy ears are gonna stick out the side of this headband and I'm gonna look like a fairy. Oh, good idea. We're never gonna get there. We're so late, you guys. We're, ah! All right, you got it, you got it. Okay, ready? And tie it in the back of your head. Is it like something that... <laughs> No, put it on the front of your forehead, like right there, yeah. Okay, I'm not tightening it that tight or my head's going to explode. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Is it, it's on good enough. Cute! Go, we're late. Hello, ladies. Wow! Oh, Hello. Hi. Look at it. Chelsea, this is cute. A little <laughs> zoom in on the plate. Oh my god. Oh my god, the bull, the, I said the balloons, the bubble. Wow, okay. We got mimosas on deck. Me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no, yes. you gotta, no, you gotta pour it like sideways. Tip the glass and pour the champagne in sideways. Okay. There you go. Oh. Who would have thunk? All right, yeah, ladies, let's cheers to. What are we cheersing to? Good vibes. Good vibes. And pixies. And pixies and fairies. <laughs> hey. Cheers. 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 Yum. Guys, Chelsea made some shrimps, shrimp ceviche. Mm -hmm. So good. It's from Dilium. Everyone's taking pics of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Butterfly Pixie, and I think local Pixie is gonna get the most drunk. Why? Because she already is. <laughs> Hi, I'm the Woodland Pixie, and I think that the local Pixie is gonna get the drunkest. Why? Because I think she's like four mimosas in. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Glitter Pixie, and I think local Pixie's gonna get f***ed up tonight because she already said that she's trying to get f***ed up tonight. <laughs> I'm the local Pixie, and I think that the Glitter Pixie is gonna be the most drunk because she just won't stop laughing. <laughs> what? Hey guys, I am the Mystic Pixie, and I think that the local Pixie is gonna get the most f***ed up because, I don't know, she just looks sketchy. <laughs> Okay guys, update. It's been what, like a couple hours? No. Yeah. Like an hour. Like an hour. The local pixie is indeed... Is the winner. Is ding, indeed... Ding, ding, ding. Is indeed the drunkest. I told everyone else to run around naked. No one would. So it looks like I'm gonna be the... Sorry, I forgot this is a PG-13 channel. <laughs> we can leave that in. It's fine. It's like semi-PG-13. I say you take that dress off and go run around. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Oh my god. Oh. She's definitely the best. Oh, local the pixie. Drunk. The local pixie is the winner. There's vitamin C. I'm allergic to orange juice, but it's okay. <laughs> what? You're so. She's allergic to oranges. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. You just chugged it like and that? And alcohol. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay guys, so I am on my way to drop off Crawford's car key slash house keys. <laughs> funny story so Crawford drove my car a couple days ago so he drove my car because we were driving really far and I don't like driving really far especially with a lot of people in the car because it just stresses me out <laughs> I did not realize it and I guess he didn't realize it to till the next day at 5 p.m. like later in the day the next morning I went to my friend Bria's office working on you know the collaboration I'm doing with her I always park in a building that has like valet so I go park my car, give the car to the, pe to the people. I didn't realize that Crawford's keys were on the side of the door, like down here. I go to Bria's, I come back, grab my car, and I see the keys on the side of the door. So I thought that the valet driver accidentally left a pair of keys in my car, so I handed it to him, and he was so confused. Like he was like, no, I don't, I don't know whose these are, like all this stuff, but I was like, I don't, I don't know whose these are either. I've never seen Crawford's keys either. So we were both just like so confused. So I told them, I said, hey, look, like just keep the keys here just in case. And if I find out that they're, that, that they're mine for some reason, I'll come back for them. And he was like, okay, that's fine. Such a sweet, sweet man. Literally, I can't make this shit up. An hour later, Crawford texts me and goes, hey, Franny, I think I left my keys in your car. And I literally was like, there's just no way. I had to drive the next day to downtown and grab Crawford's keys. And the thing is too, like it's not even like the keys were like in an easy area. They were in downtown LA. Like downtown LA is so complicated to drive in. It's like driving kind of in New York City, like Manhattan, but not nearly as bad as Manhattan. Like Manhattan's crazy. Downtown, it's it's just, there's cars, there's so many people, so many cars, like so many buildings, like it is just a whole thing to get back down there. The fact that I had to go to grab some keys that I left that I didn't even know were mine. Then I also told Crawford, I was like, Crawford, who texts a whole 24 hours later about losing your keys? And he was like, oh, I didn't realize. And I'm like, dude, you just, I mean, it's nobody's fault. Like, I mean, it's, I had no idea he left the keys in the car. And like Crawford obviously didn't know that I was gonna leave him with a valet driver. Okay guys, I'm here with Nezzy. Say hi, Nezzy. Hello. <laughs> so we are having a meeting. Yay. Yay. Uh, we're having a little meeting about, you probably already are. I'm being secretary. <laughs> I'm just over here, don't mind me. We are having a meeting for, I feel like y'all already know for what. But you don't, you think you do, but you don't. You think you do. You think you, you do, do, but, but you, you don't. You don't really know. No, we're, yeah. I was like, oh my god, Frezza, but. With a twist. With a twist. With a lime twist. With a twist of lime. That's So yeah, it's not what you think it is, but it is what you think it is. <laughs> that makes, no, you're just confusing them even more. It is what they think it is. I mean, it is. But, but it's, it's not. not. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. We've been sitting here just figuring shit out for what? It's been like about an hour already. Also guys, I forgot to mention to you, I'm leaving to Philadelphia tomorrow. Yay. Just decided to like, for I forgot to mention that. Um, I'm going to visit one of my best friends, Heidi. She is pregnant. She's having her gender reveal party. I get to be the one. Nessa, did I tell you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like. So I am the one that is actually going, no one knows the gender of the baby. They're gonna hand me, on the day of the gender reveal, they're gonna hand me the card. And um, I'm gonna be the first one to know the gender of the baby. Yeah, I'm gonna be the one handing them the gender color. So I am the one who gets the honor of doing that and I'm going to ball my little, uh, hello? I'm going to ball my little heart out. But yeah, so I have to pack later. So maybe I'll bring y'all along for me packing because I don't know what I'm bringing along with me yet. Yeah. Just getting your nasty, dusty, crusty fucking feet on my white ass couch. Thanks. <laughs> They're not dirty. <laughs> okay, guys, I am finally back home. I went from Neza's to my parents' place to see them. And then I came home and now I'm packing to go on my trip to Philadelphia. Guys, it's so weird. I haven't been like to the East Coast like that, like by Jersey in so long. It's it's gonna be weird seeing literally one of my best friends from back home, like being with her because she's pregnant. Like that's the age that we're getting at is that people are starting to get married and pregnant and it's scary. I'm gonna try. 
try and pack extremely light. I always say that. I'm always like, oh my god, I'm gonna pack so light. And then I always end up bringing like, well, what if I need a dress for this? Or what if I need a pair of shorts for this? I'm like, I'm really, I'm only there for three days. Like, I kind of have some stuff kind of laid out of what I'm gonna wear. So I do know one of the nights we are gonna be going out to dinner because her boyfriend is a chef at a restaurant, which is so cheeky. So excited for that. So I'm gonna bring this little number with a pair of jeans for the actual gender reveal. This is a dress I'm wearing. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this because I looked at the weather, it's gonna be 95 degrees and and it's gonna be thunderstorm. So I don't know how that's gonna go. The dress that I'm wearing to the gender reveal is like a long sleeve, so I might melt in this. So we're gonna just pack it up and hope for the best. But I'm really excited to go. Like I'm really, really excited to go to the East Coast. Do I like bring workout clothes? is the real question, honestly. Who am I kidding? I am not going to work out while I'm there. There's no way. Like, where, first of all, like, where would I work out? I don't have a gym membership anywhere. I'm not gonna be outside. It's gonna be too hot and raining. I'm gonna be on vacation. Why would I want to do that? Also, guys, can you tell, like, my face is, like, kind of red? Can you tell? Yeah, you can. I'm so delusional right now. It is... I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 10 o'clock. My flight to like 8 in the morning. So I have to, to really get my shit together. But like I said, I'm going for three days. I can't really mess this up, can I? I want like a snack now. Uh, I'm so bad at this shit. <laughs> I got a snack. There are these things called bon- They're like these like vegan bonbon ice creams from Trader Joe's. Like a cookies and cream like vegan ice cream thing. So good. I know some people don't like trying vegan shit, but don't knock it till you try it, people. Guys, I've been meaning to mention this. I have been reading this book and I just like 10 out of 10 recommend. Like whether you're going through something, whether you're not going through something, wherever you are at in life, I think every single person should read this book. It is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. Amory, let me borrow this book. It is a book that everyone should read. Like, I'm just raving about it because it's not about not caring about things. It's literally about where you should care about things and how you should care about things. What you should put your energy towards. It, okay, for, so for a perfect example, not getting invited to a party and you get FOMO. FOMO is a fear of missing out. You don't get invited to a party, you get FOMO. The author asks you, okay, well, why do you have FOMO? And then, you know, he goes, you're probably gonna answer, oh, cause like, you know, I wanna hang out with my friends. I wanna, I wanna drink. I wanna have fun. I wanna dance, all this stuff. And then he goes, okay, like what's so important about doing those things? And then he makes you think, you're like, I mean, I guess you're right. You know, I mean, it's so normal for someone to have FOMO, but I guess it's just like weird to think like missing out on going out with your friends and drinking and doing all that stuff. It's not like it really does a lot for you. I mean, it just, it boosts your ego. Maybe it like gives you a little something. It makes you feel good at the moment but at the end of the day it doesn't really do anything for you so it's like why do you care so much if you don't get invited it's kind of like yeah it sucks but it's like oh well maybe next time but yeah it's like just a book about that basically and it's just it's so good like I said guys if you can go grab this book this is not a brand deal or anything like it's not this is not sponsored whatsoever I just fell in love with this book I am two chapters away from being done I absolutely love it on that note guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish packing figuring out my situation and head to bed because I have to be up at six o'clock I think. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>